first steps of the Turkish getup. The Turkish getup is a complex movement that begins on the ground, moves up to standing, and then returns to the ground. Most people will train a Turkish getup with weight, but today we're going to just use our body weight and a couple of uh, props to help us get the moves down just right. So here we go for the beginning of the Turkish getup. You're going to lay flat on the floor. Take your left foot to the floor, slightly outside the left hip, and then raise your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. This is the most important part once you start training with weight. The hand needs to be above the shoulder at all points of the movement, so it doesn't come forward, it doesn't go back or out to the side, but straight up over the shoulder. Your right hand comes out to the side to give yourself a little bit of balance. And then you're going to be driving down through that right elbow and pushing through your left foot to roll up to an upright position with your elbow down under your shoulder, your knee, left knee over your left hip, chest up, and left shoulder locked down and back. Then you're going to take your right hand, press it into the floor, keep that chest lifting up, and then lower back down onto the elbow. And all the way back down onto your back. So that's the beginning of our Turkish get up movement. There's a couple of props we can use to help train that movement. Um, I like to tell my clients to think about holding a wine glass, but you can also hold a wine glass um, up over your shoulder, making sure that you're not going to spill the wine anywhere. So planting that left foot, rise up onto the left, uh, right shoulder. Press that right hand down, and then slide back. Paying attention to that wine in the glass. The other alternative is to take a shoe, make a fist with your hand, and the shoe will drop if your hand moves out of a vertical position. So again, pressing through the left foot, pulling through the right elbow, eyes on that shoe, slide up to the hand, Lower back down to the elbow, all the way back to your back. After you've done your repetitions on that side, then you'll switch to the other side and repeat the same movement with control. So I hope that gets you started on your Turkish get up progression. Next time we'll have the next layer to add to that movement. Thanks for joining me. Learn more at justbefit.com.